We are on Psachim, Perek Yud, Mishnah Gimel. Third Mishnah in the final chapter of Psachim. We continue to discuss the rules, the laws, the halachot regarding the, light, the night of the Seder. Says the Mishnah, we just had Kiddush, and now, Heviu Lefanav. So they bring before him, i.e., they bring before him, the Bartender says, the vegetables. Okay? Metabel bechazeret. You dip chazeret. Chazeret, nowadays, chazeret refers to chren. It doesn't mean that. The Kahati says that chazeret refers to lettuce. Okay, so they have vegetables. You dip the vegetables. This is a little bit difficult to explain. So there's a bunch of different understandings. Okay, but what it means, according to the Bartanura, is let, let's just read. Okay, they brought him, they dip in the vegetables. You dip your vegetables. We consider this today, that's called karpas. Why do you dip vegetables? Says the Bartanura, the child will recognize and ask. He'll say, What's going on? Okay, because there's, there is, there, it's not normal to bring vegetables. They would bring the meal and they guess have vegetables afterwards. So nowadays we have salad. We always have salad. So it's interesting. When you think about it, maybe we should, we need to think about updating the Seder because and nowadays having the vegetables is not unusual, but the whole Seder is really unusual. The whole thing is nice. So you don't have to change anything. So what does it mean? Betabel bechazeret. Chazeret there means chasa. It means, but that was also a form of, uh, could have been a form of maror. The Bartunura says, it's not necessarily chazeret. Because you could do this first dipping with any vegetable. That's why karpas has so many different uh, minhagim. Some do parsley, some do we do celery, some do potatoes. Ella im But if you don't have anything else, then mitabel Then you can use the chazeret that would have been that would have been okay for maror instead of other vegetables. Why? You're dipping it, but you're dipping it. Metabel means you dip and eat. So you dip it. What is parperet hapat? First of all, realize that Bartunur has a different version. Parperet hapat. Parperet hapat, he says that means the eating of the matzah. The parperet hapat. There are other interpretations, other explanations. The Kahati brings a couple of them. Normally, we should just understand that parperet hapat in Masechet Brachot refers to foods that are eaten with foods that are eaten, eaten, excuse me, with uh, bread. So therefore, some say that parperet hapat re- refers to foods that you eat with, ma- with the matzah, which means the maror afterwards, okay, the chazeret that's eaten afterwards. Meaning, according to that explanation, I'll just read it, metabel bechazeret, you dip the chazeret and you eat it, and you don't eat anything else until you, you, are, you eat the chazeret again as parperet hapat. Other explanation is the parperet hapat is the matzah itself. And we okay, that it means achilat matzah, and the Bartunura says le parperet apat to eat the matzah. To eat that means that, that's what it means. Kemash malan when it teaches us she'en achila acheret mafseket bein achilat yirakot la achilat matzah teaches us that you can't eat anything between the vegetables between what we call karpas and the eating of the matzah. Okay, why? Kodem shiagiel leoto chazeret shal mitzvah shemavarech alav achilat maror before you get to the mitzvah of a chazeret. Which is called maror, ochel matzah tchila. You first have to eat matzah before you eat maror. As it says, al matzot umarurim. We learned that in the Pasuk Yochlu. Matzot beresha first matzah. Bahadar marurim. So therefore, you don't eat anything else until you get to the matzah, and then you eat the matzah, and then you eat the maror. Heviu lefanav matzah. Vechazeret. Then you get to the, they bring before him matzah and chazeret. Remember, this is Roman uh, tables. They would bring out the new table with the new food. They brought the matzah and the chazeret, the, 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 in their case, chasa, but they would use it as chorein. Vecharoset, we know what that is. Ushnei two cooked foods. Afa pisha ein charoset mitzvah. Even though according to the Tanakama, the charoset is not a mitzvah. Rather, charoset is, why do we do two foods? Okay, two foods because, uh, the, and it's in the Baratunu, where the, 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 the Kahati says, one is zecha korban pesach, and one is zecha korban chagiga. Okay, and today we do the zroa. And we do the egg. So we have these two foods, which we actually don't eat. Maybe we should have eaten them. I don't know. We should eat them to remind ourselves of the, of the korbanot that they would bring during the time of the Beit HaMikdash. What's charoset? So I love this. I just like this part. He says, you make it mitainim, veluzim, ubitanim, ushkedim. Luz, I don't know what that is. You look it up. Nuts and almonds, v'kamim mili pirot and fruits. Umesimim v'tapuchim. You put in apples, v'dachin akol, and you crush it. Umarvin v'chomis, you put in vinegar. 
you put in spices, uh, cinnamon, and kane, I don't know what that is. Okay? Arukot, uh, lakash. It has to be, it's interesting. tilot, dakot, arukot. So you should have the cinnamon sticks that remind you of the bread. Okay? And it has to be ava, thick. Remind, remembrance of the tit. It should be reminding you of the, of the, of the, uh, of the, we said the mortar. That's what we tell ourselves. But I just like that he just gives you the whole, he gives you the whole recipe that his mother used to make. Anyway. So the, the Tanakhama says, "Afapisha en charoset mitzvah." It's not a mitzvah. Why do you have it? The reason why you have it is to. It's not a mitzvah. But the, their maror was so strong that they had to. They had to. They had to uh, uh, mediate the, the taste. It was too bitter. So nowadays, I don't know. I eat. Uh, I eat the Roman lettuce, which I actually like. So the charoset is more symbolic. Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Tzadok, Omer, Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Tzadok says, "No mitzvah." The charoset. He believed the charoset was a mitzvah. And the Rambam says that according to Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Tzadok, there was a bracha of Asher Kitchanu Ben Misotav Vitzivanu Al Achilat Charoset. He said there was a bracha. Uba Mikdash Ayu the Fanavim the Fanav Bufos Shel Pesach. And in times of the Beit Hamikdash, they would bring the actual korban Pesach to the table, and then you would eat matzot to Marurim Yochluhu. You would eat your korban Pesach together with the matzah and the maror. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.